Hi, I'm Professor Fernandez. We're talking about class notes E in lesson four. In this example, we are given information about a mass that's hanging from a spring with spring constant two. And we have our damping force proportional to the velocity, what we've been doing so far, with proportionality constant C equals three. And then it says find the displacement from equilibrium Y of T. So I'm going to scroll up a little bit, remind you of the model that we derived under exactly these sorts of conditions. And here it is up here. So this is what we are going to employ. And we're just going to plop in the M value, the C value, the K value, and then solve the ODE that results. So let me scroll back down to where we were, oops, so that we can do all of that. Okay, great. So let's identify all of those parameters. Um, so we've got the M value right here, one kilogram, the C value three and the K value two. So using our model, MY double prime plus CY prime plus KY equals zero. This turns into a uh, Y double prime because M is one plus three uh, Y prime plus two Y equals zero. Um, you can you can tell that I was a bit lazy in my units. Uh, I, I, I did give you the units of mass, um, but I didn't give you the units of K or the units of C. But if I don't provide you the units, then it's safe to assume that they are in SI units. That's what I've been using throughout the, uh, the course. So at this point, we now have a CC sold, and we want to solve it. So we follow the procedure that we've done thus far in this lesson. We find the characteristic equation. Um, and like I described in the previous video, we can do that by quickly converting the derivative orders to powers of R, right? And that leaves me there. Um, this particular ODE also factors. So this is R plus one um, times R plus two equals zero, right? So that's R squared plus two R plus R, that's three plus two. Great. And then we get two solutions from here, negative one and negative two. Um, that gives rise to the two solutions to the ODE, e to the minus t and e to the minus 2t. And then based on our ODE theory, that gives us a general solution that looks like this. Okay, so that's it for the math. Um, just one quick little comment, right? Because this is a, a problem, a, you know, an exercise about a mass on a spring. One thing you might notice about the solution is that as t goes to infinity, no matter what the C1 and C2 values are, because these are decaying exponentials, you are going to get zero. So in other words, eventually, whatever this mass is doing initially with the C values, whatever oscillations are going on, eventually those oscillations just die out and the mass approaches its equilibrium position for large enough time. 